IER Info Entertainment Reviews. Friends, subscribers, all you viewers, welcome to my channel. And thank you all to my subscribers and my newest recent subscribers. Gosh, you guys are awesome. And thank you for such the great comments, you guys. You guys really are true, just truly awesome to the limits. I mean, I can't say in better words how great you people all are. And so just makes me know that there's still wonderful people out there as well, you guys. So let's keep our circle growing because we need more of us to just get the words out. And thanks to you guys also out there, all you men and women out there, you're fabulous. And so just especially thank you again. Now, we're going to do an earthquake update, but I was checking out my news and I wanted to get this up to you guys here. Take a look at this. Now, this is all new. Now, a video not long ago. Guys, go check it out. I was showing you the amount of land hogged up by fracking. And it was just one section that we were just zooming in on. On satellite footage, I have the video up, so go check it out. But take a look here. All new. All of this is new. And so I guess they're trying to address, but look at this. Now, what you're looking at right here, take a look here. This is the waste disposal. This is Oklahoma Disposal Well Site. Just one of them, you guys. This is just one of them. And this is in Luther, Oklahoma. And believe it or not, I believe that's exactly where we zoomed into to go find all this pumps and all this crap. I mean, it's just insane. So Luther, Oklahoma, the Oklahoma Corporation Commission is taking additional measures to address recent activity following a series of strong quakes in Luther, Wellston area. I did my earthquake update about this, ladies and gentlemen, and take a look here. This is the one. This was the earthquake, that 4.0 magnitude quake that was back in August 10th. And take a look here. Luther residents have been rattled by earthquakes over the past week. Recording 4.3 magnitude earthquake on Wednesday, 3.5 magnitude quake Tuesday, and a 4.0 magnitude quake August 10, 2016. I did an update on these quakes. I talked about this. Residents, residents of Oklahoma better wake the hell up. Nobody knows what the heck apparently is fully going on. Yes, you're getting rattled, but you guys don't realize it's all the damn fracking. That's what I don't get. How, Just like the booms in California, you guys, and going across the road, all these loud booms that people are hearing and they think it's coming from the sky. Otherwise, they don't know where else it's coming from. People, come on. The stuff is coming from underneath your feet, deep underneath the ground. It's not that hard to figure it out. You got to realize all the media is full of shit. Excuse my friends, but the media is. The media is full of shit, you guys. I don't care who they are. I don't care if it's Alex Jones. I don't care who it is. Very little information, especially Alex. Alex will put out some very interesting things, but he's not saying it all. I don't dislike the man, but still, just as full of BS like the rest of the media. And I'm talking all of the media, every single bit of it. The media is fake, people. All they do is just manipulate people's minds. And those who allow it to happen, you be, end up being the ones to get manipulated. And it's jacked up. Guys, it's really great to do your own research, to really search. Hey, if you got to go deeper into the web to go get some information, so beat it. Go do it. Now, take a look at this. Associated Press. Now, on Friday, the Oklahoma Corporation Commission's Oil and Gas Conservation Division has announced plans to shut down a two Arbuckle disposal wells within three miles of the latest seismic activity. What the hell is that going to do, you guys? They're not going to shut it down. God, they're so full of it. The wells will be shut down by August 25th, 2015. So this is a older little debate thing going on. Now, this was just posted just a bit ago. So why would they put 2015? Why does this have to come out now? 
Those 4.0s and those earthquakes, I just did those on the 10th. I'm not kidding. But, so they're not shut down. If they were shut down on 2015 last year, maybe someone made a mistake here and put 2015 instead of 2016. We'll see what happens. Wells within 3 and 10 miles of the latest seismic activity will be required to operate at or below latest reported 30-day average volume. Holy shit. You guys see what I mean? Look at that. It's not done, you guys. If this was from last year, 2015. Now, those 4.0s and the three pointers, those were on the 10th of August. Go look at my earthquake update and you'll see how I talked about that. But officials announced plan to prevent earthquakes in central Oklahoma. Oklahoma Corporation commissions targets 245 injection wells following large quake. There is well over. 245 wells in Oklahoma. I could tell you that right now. There's probably a couple thousand. I'm not freaking kidding you guys. So if you guys want to go check this site out for yourself, go check it out. KFOR.com. This is linked into my earthquake updater that I bring you guys every day daily. So now, friends, on that note, Let's take a look at the earthquake activity and see what is going on with the latest. If anything has changed, is there anything new? Now, nothing has changed ever since that 7.4. There's still, it topped out at 17 earthquakes total. This is where I got my news. It's very helpful, you guys, because there's stuff they just don't put up all the time. Now, this was come. This came out yesterday, all right? So, and look at this, Central Oklahoma earthquake downgraded to a 4.0. They're always changing crap around, and we all know that, you guys. What the hell? Man, 2014, the Napa earthquake continued to creep weeks after main shock. You guys remember when that earthquake hit? That was very, very a nasty earthquake. Homelessness is an emergency, but not like an earthquake. <laughs> So much for human people. Everybody's human, you guys. Everybody's important. We're all important. 18 hours ago, planners fine-tune earthquake exercise. Again, this was 18 hours ago. Blue Springs Examiner. Jackson's County's part becomes Wednesday when hundreds of local volunteers will follow scripts. As they play, excuse me, I'm going to sleep. He's got to get some coffee. As they play the role of evacuees from an eastern side of the state, which has been devastated by a massive New Madrid fault earthquake. New Madrid fault earthquake. I've been talking about this. I even talked about it last night. I mentioned this in my update. And brought this up to you guys and because I had a great gentleman, Justin. Man, again, thank you as well because I have. I've been waiting for someone to come out to at least contact me from anywhere of Australia to see if they, if they felt that earthquake. And they sure certainly did. And it was a rough, literally a rough 10 seconds and then some of some shaking. And that between the two places I named off and the safest places in the world, the most stable places, Australia, and don't forget, the far south end of Canada, and so forth. So, very odd to be getting that activity. Now, like I said about New Madrid, a lot going on. Now, Oklahoma, here we go. Three earthquakes near Cheney, Kansas. And this is just not far away from Oklahoma. It's cutting right through. At 3.5 magnitudes, and then come and take a look over here. Central California struck with a 2.9 and two earthquakes near King City, California at a 2.1 and above earthquakes. And four upper lake earthquakes, you guys. Again, four of them, all within the area. This is what I like about showing you this way because it cleans everything up without the clutter. And it gives us this, which is really nice. And it, this is, it's all within these areas. Look at Oregon hit with a 2.0. Coming in up over here, had two earthquakes, all near Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic area. And this was a 3.0 magnitude. And five of them had hit with a 2.6 on up. And this is U.S. Virgin Islands, ladies and gentlemen. Coming on down. 
past Ecuador, Peru, going into Bolivia and near Chile. Take a look here. This is the biggest one yet in the area with a 4.9. You can see where the fault runs right on through, and it's in the heart of Mother Earth's fault. Take a look at this. Near coast of northern Chile with a 4.4. And it's cruise on down at the very end. This is where that 7.4 struck, and it wasn't a 7.4, you guys. It was more like probably a 7.7. .7. There was a little bit of after shaking, but they're not just aftershocks. You got to remember that. They're not just aftershocks, folks. It's because the tectonic plates all in this area, this whole section, this whole chunk section is moving. There's no doubt about it, and it shifted. It's going to cause the rest of these to move. There's so much going on. I mean, it's just unbelievable. You got to think of the ocean water, too. When a big gap opens up in the sea, more water is just going to go where that gap goes. And this stops. I was saying a possibility. Are we going to hit 20 earthquakes in this area? Is this where it's going to end at? Nothing yet, you guys. I mentioned this in my other video, but nothing has changed yet there. But there's 17 earthquakes total. And other than for that, take a look here. Quite a bit of changes. 5.3 southeast of Loyalty Islands, just right nearby. Kermodic Islands, New Zealand with a 4.9. And also Fiji Islands region with a 4.3. And don't forget, look at the faults. Look at all these tectonic plates right in the center. This one happened right on the inside. The plates are moving, you guys. Whether some of those don't want to hear it or not, the plates are moving. They're shifting. They're ready to give. Fiji Islands is sitting closer to a load of just different pieces. You, you guys know when you drop a plate on the floor and the plate breaks and you got all those chunks? That's what's... That's what all this is. They're just chunks. Imagine the ones that are hidden that they're not even showing us. Here we go. There's that 5.3. Now, Australia, beautifully quiet. Gosh, I wish I was over there, you guys. You have no idea. Such a beautiful place. So much to see. It's amazing. And people, man, people are so kind out there. I got to tell you, that's you, you get treated with love in Australia. No doubt about it, you guys. I've met Australians here in the United States, and it's just to conversate with them. I mean, such loyal people. Gosh, I wish there was more of them like that around here in our states. You know, the world would be a better place, you guys, if there was more goodness in this world than all the corruption that's going on today. But... Back to this. Australia is indeed very quiet. Indonesia is very quiet. Thailand's quiet. But look at Afghanistan. This is always in the same area. Three earthquakes strike. Sari Tash. All in the same area. As always. Kyrgyzstan 4.4 magnitude. And just take a look here. This is Honshu, Japan. And again, that was highly well felt. Any of you out there, if any of you folks are in Japan right now, within this area gosh i would love to hear a message from you also to i want to get input of what was felt did you did any of you out there who are living along this coast area or within did anybody feel that earthquake in japan let me know please i would love to hear from you now take a look here northwest of curl islands 4.2 magnitude as well and hawaii ladies and gentlemen actually had a couple of them just two earthquakes, nothing major, 2.4, of course, near a volcano. Hawaii is a very active place. But that's it, ladies and gentlemen. So stay tuned in for later on as I bring you another update. Lots of love and thanks to all of you. Hope you enjoyed. And to be continued, folks. Peace out. This is IER Info Entertainment Reviews.